Seymour sits on his bed, clicking away at his laptop, curtains drawn shutting out the light of day. The sickly pale glow of the computer highlights his sunken features. Facebook is open. Typing. Status. I want to see her so much. Update. New tab. Favorites. Christina's profile. A restricted profile shows his dream girl Christina. A profile picture with no information. He had known her since they went to school together, but never had the courage to speak to her. She was way out of his league, but if she could just get to know him, she'd realize no one else could love her like Seymour did. And the notification pops up. Christina Stevens accepted your friend request. A moment passes. Instant message. Hey, thanks for the ad. Do I know you? A look of curiosity peeks on Seymour's face. It slowly turns to a smile, fixated on the word friend. He puts the laptop aside, overjoyed at the prospect of his new friend. Giggling to himself, he moves over to his wall. Beautiful pictures of Christina placed so delicate, a collage so sweet Seymour had cried many times in front of it. If it weren't for her friends ruining the photos Seymour had managed to find online, the pictures would have been perfect. They look so much better with their faces scribbled out. The softest hand gives the lightest touch to the center picture of the monument to perfection. Seymour, returning to the computer, ignores the instant message and views Christina's profile fully for the first time, a privilege only her friends can have. Seymour smiles to himself. Christina Stevens, nearly finished work at Café Blanc, five minutes ago. Café Blanc? That's not too far away. Seymour resolves to go meet his new friend from work to begin their friendship properly. Who knows, if things go well, he could take her on a date, buy her gifts, introduce her to his parents. Seymour's thoughts turned sour for a moment. Well, he would, but his parents never understood him. He was glad to be rid of them. Putting on his hoodie, he left the house. The sun momentarily blinded him, pausing to think. When was the last time he left his house? Walking briskly through his neighborhood, he avoided eye contact with any of the seedy locals. A dog let out a bark which shocked him. An old lady gave an apology, but Seymour had already turned and walked off. In town, Seymour approached Café Blanc. His body tingled with anticipation. Minutes passed. A lady approached Seymour, asking questions for her survey, but he continued to stare at the temple of his goddess until the lady went away. More minutes passed. Seymour checks Christina's profile on his phone for any updates. Christina Stevens, down by the river, at Brown Tree Park, ten minutes ago. Damn, he must have gotten here too late. Seymour taps his phone for directions to check in. Must hurry. Must hurry. Don't want to lose her again. While the park might be a nice romantic setting for their friendship to blossom, the sun should be setting soon. What a lovely scene it will paint. Seymour stops dead. There, sat on a park bench, looking out over the river. It must be her. Can't be anyone else. Butterflies dance in Seymour's stomach. He couldn't be more than ten paces away from her now. A male voice. Christina turns as a tall boy. Seymour was sure he recognized, sits next to her. She smiles as he hands her an ice cream. Seymour's stomach drops, and a feeling of complete emptiness washes over his body as he watches the two share a kiss. The emptiness bubbles over into a familiar feeling. His muscles twitch and his fists clench. How? How can this person taint what is not his? He checks his phone once more. About me. Christina Stevens is in a relationship with David Coleman. Christina laughs with David as she wipes ice cream onto his nose. She takes a compact digital camera out of her bag and pushes her head close to David's as they both give a cheesy grin. Click. 
David recoils the sudden flash and insists he takes the next photo as he was sure he blinked in the previous one. Nighttime, and Christina is just reaching her home, entering her living room with a fresh mug of hot chocolate. She sits down at her computer and boots it up. She takes out her phone. Status, had such a good day today. Home safe now. Night all, XX. Update. Computer booted. She plugs in her camera and loads up the pictures, smiling as she browses through them. She laughs, coming to the picture where David is blinking with ice cream on his nose. She notices a dark figure stood several feet behind them in the picture. She looks through the next few pictures they took at the bench and the figure is still there. A chill passes through Christina. On to the next couple of pictures with Christina and David in various locations around town, smiling and posing as normal. Next picture, it's one of David posing near a statue. Christina is dumbstruck as she sees a blurry figure in the background. It couldn't possibly be the same person. Those pictures were taken hours apart from each other. Christina taps at her phone to ring David. It goes voicemail. Christina leaves a worried message, feeling unsafe, wanting him to ring her, and he hangs up. She returns to the comforting glow of her computer, and something in her newsfeed catches her eye. David Coleman is going to die cold and alone. The river runs red at Roundtree Park 15 minutes ago. A notification. Seymour Williams has checked into Christina Stevens' house with Christina Stevens two seconds ago. Seymour Williams likes this.